Violence against police officers getting even deadlier. The NYPD paying tribute this afternoon after a second officer has died, just days after a suspect shot him and his partner while both were responding to a domestic dispute. That comes as a Black Lives Matter chapter from Washington, D.C., faces backlash from police groups after complaining of copaganda and saying officers who get shot should not be called heroes, the group tweeting this. Look at the reaction and coverage tonight. Tearjerker press conferences and proclamations of heroes coming soon. Being black in D.C. is more dangerous than any job. First, let us all express our condolences to Officer Mora and his, and his family. Um, we really were hoping that he would make it. Unfortunately, that was not the case. So, Judge, uh, we woke up this morning and found out that the Black Lives Matter chapter in D.C. had tweeted that. I would imagine that your head exploded. Yeah, it's been exploding a lot in the last month. There's been a police officer shot every day in this country since the beginning of the year. And we've had four cops shot in New York City in the past week. Most of them are victims of just ambushes. And the bottom line is this. You've got all of these politicians who now come out and say, you know, we stand with the police and all this nonsense. They don't stand with the police because they were in favor of defunding. They're in favor of eliminating bail, releasing criminals and, and, and lowering ch criminal charges. And then all of a sudden, because the winds kind of blow in favor of a police officer, they want to be, you know, out there with the group. Well, you know what? They ought to put their money where their mouth is. And the bottom line in this country is, until we start respecting cops, until we tell our children to respect cops, nothing is going to change. Because these politicians aren't going to change. They are activists, social justice warriors. I never knew what that meant. Now I know what it means. You know, they talk about white privilege. This is criminal privilege. Mm. Criminals have all the privilege. And you've got Black Lives Matter, the organization, not the movement. I want to be really clear. If they care about what their title alleges, then they would want to be in the inner cities where most of the victims of crime are African Americans and brown children. That's why you've got uh, Eric Adams saying, I'm going to start re re bringing in street crime units again. I'm going to start focusing on where these kids are. If you really care about black children, then get involved in mentoring. Put some kind of after school program in. Give them an internship. Make believe you care for the black lives that are being lost. These are just, just, just money hucksters who are doing nothing but promoting division in this country. Over to you, Greg. Well done. Well said. Uh, yeah. It's not that surprising because you have to understand there is an underlying streak in BLM that is anti-cop. Mm -hmm. you, it, it is there. They happen to sucker the media into thinking it was something else. And so the media treated them with an exalted reverence, even as police were getting shot, you actually couldn't say anything. If you said blue lives matter or all lives yeah. matter, somehow that was an attack on BLM and you were racist. The media embraced a narrative that contributed to a nationwide Ferguson effect, right? Devaluing of police and ultimately a crime wave in the crumbling of cities run by liberals. So where do you think the smash and grabs, the random murders, the carjackings, the gang violence comes from? It was an acceptance of an idea that America was hopelessly corrupt and therefore looting and arson were seen as justifiable behavior. That opened the doors to uh, progressive nightmares like no cash bail, early release of violent felons, defunding of police, early retirement of cops. All of this came from the same mentality. And it is a underlying anti-police streak that has been a part of activism for decades. Geraldo, you uh, were... Um, expressing some I, 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 feelings I, I about was this deeply earlier. touched by yeah. the judge's uh, recitation just then. I, I was, it was slammed. There was a slam in my heart when uh, Jason Rivera, uh, the first cop, the 22 year old, was dead on the scene and Mora was clinging to life. It just, you could weep. It was so, so horrible. And, and, and just to continue this whole idea of how cops the, have been. Uh, pilloried uh, the riots, uh, the uh, George Floyd riots, where they were they were uh, Molotov cocktails and assaulted and every crap uh, you could think of thrown at them, uh, and still they they held the thin blue line, the thin blue line separating civilization from anarchy. But I tell you that thing about propaganda in D.C. from that BLM chapter, being black is more dangerous than any job. He's right. D.C. had 227 murders. Last year, vast majority of them, almost all of them black, including 33 women and children. Where was Black Lives Matter? Where was Black Lives Matter? Do black lives really matter or do black lives only matter when a cop is involved? 
227 murders. What did BLM, what did that big mouth do about the 227 mostly black people who were murdered in D.C. by mostly black people? What did you do? You did nothing. You did nothing. Jesse, last word. Please. I would just say that police officers are almost always saving black lives from black-on-black -black crime, and that needs to be acknowledged. It was a bait-and-switch BLM. It started off as a nice movement. Trump bought into it. Remember the George Floyd? He said it was terrible. Everyone thought so. Corporate America bought into it. Then what happened? Then they started burning everything. And then the people that were leading this thing started looting it and buying luxury spreads in California and the Caribbean. Right. And then... We get all these statements from these, like, sounds like communist revolutionaries, and they say, oh, no, 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 that was just a chapter that was unaffiliated with the national organization. That happened 10 times. You start thinking, like, oh, my God, this isn't what they said it was. And I always look at these movements for their results. Where are the results? You yeah. didn't get police reform. You got a lot of property damage. You defunded the police, and it cost a lot of black lives. And now the brand has sunk to below 50% approval, and now everyone's thinking, oh, my God, what have we gotten ourselves involved in? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.